Hello everybody and welcome to our fourth draft on this Dominaria Booster Draft game. Let's see how long we can go. As you know, we're going to keep doing drafts until we stop making enough gems to do a new draft, which hasn't quite happened yet. After paying for this draft, we're going to have 130 gems, which means that we need to get five wins? Five wins to play another draft. Five wins before three losses. Sounds very doable unless we get another deck like last time. Evan's making coffee in the kitchen and I want coffee so hopefully he'll be in here soon but for now this is Bryant here by myself. Hi. Let's do this. Two-headed giant. Probably not worth first picking. I don't like the double red and four mana four four is okay. It sometimes gets double strike, sometimes gets menace. Come to think of it, I, I thought one of those was bad. Huh. Might be worth it. Uh, other picks. Don't like that. Uh, Skizik is fine. Uh, it's not, like, ideal, but I like a 4-mana 5-3 Trample Haste. First picking Gideon's Reproach is something that I'm not terribly unhappy with. Same for Yavimaya Sappert or Baloth Gorger. I think we take the Skizik because it's an uncommon. Ah. Uh, two at a Giant, though. Skizik, though. Let's go with the Skizik, acknowledging that this could be a mistake. Alright, Marwin the Nurturer isn't great in Limited. Cross and Druid, Short Sword, Demonic Vigor. None of these cards are great. What do you do? Exile Historic Permanent. If you do, return to the battle. Okay, Blink a Historic Permanent. That can be cool. Um, As of now, Bloodstone Goblin is actually not a terrible pick. It's a bear that gets bigger if you cast a kick spell. Red is one of the kicker colors. Um, getting Marwyn's second pick, I, I don't know. That doesn't tell us the green is open. Um, and I mean it's the second pick. Nothing's going to tell us that anything is open. Uh, let's go with the goblin and see what happens. Valid Soothsayer. Wild Onslaught. Okay, Yavimaya Sapper, third pick. And Shivenfire, third pick, which is definitely the pick. Um, we might be able to get through pack one being mono red. Let's hope so, because that'll be fun. Uh, we take Shiv and Fire, and there are two very good green cards in the pack, which is a great sign. Also, Blessed Light and Adamant Will. Cool. Orcish Vandal's worth having. Call the Cavalry Baloth Gorger. Oh, man. Um, let's see. I think we take the Baloth Gorger here. Because while I want Call the Cavalry, and while I think white is open, red-green is just generally a better color pair than white-red. Um, Caligo Skin Witch is another potential pick, but Baloth Gorger. Uh, <laughs> why do we keep getting Hinterland Harbor? Uh, Llanowar Envoy isn't going to help us kick things. Uh, Power Stone Shard is just bad. Get to Lava Mancer doesn't care about being green-red. Other picks, Sergeant at Arms is good. Uh, we're gonna take Urza's Tome, because we are not exactly in a card advantage color pair yet. Whisper, very good card. Primordial Worm, alright. Uh, get to Lava Runner and get to Journey Mage. I don't like either of these for the deck that we think we're in. Arbor Armament isn't awful. Uh... Primordial Worm. We can get better threats late game. Let's go with Arbor Armament and see what happens. Cold Water Snapper. Corrosive. Gift of Growth. Yes. Thank you. Although Fungal Infection still being in the pack is interesting to me. Cabal Evangel. Adventurous Impulse. I do want one Adventurous Impulse. Uh, Nothing else in this pack really excites me, so let's take that. First pack wheels around, and Warlord's Fury, creatures in first strike, draw a card. Huh. We've still got Davenant Trapper. I think we take the Pardic Wanderer here. Yeah. Corrosive Ooze. <laughs> wow. Uh, the card in our colors. Adamant Will is still here. Uh, let's take the Adamant Will, see what happens with white. Orcish Vandal and Fire Elemental still around. Okay. Uh, Fire Elemental's not a great card. Better in this deck than get to Lava Runner. Uh, sure, I'll take a rare for free. Not that it's playable in anything, but... Grand Warlord Rada. Now that's a red-green payoff. So we're gonna be taking that, basically, no matter what. 
Uh, and it helps that there's no other exciting green or red in the pack except for Spore Swarm, which isn't for the deck that we're in. So Grand Warlord Rada it is. Now we need some payoffs, like Steel Leaf Champion, for instance. Um, so that's not a payoff in the sense that I was talking about, but I will happily take it. Nature Spiral, Lingering Phantasm, we can splash white for Tiana, but there's no reason to do that yet. Here's another kicker payoff. We actually haven't seen anything with kicker yet, except for the Gorger. Um... Let's go ahead and take another one of these. Yeah, I like it better than Nature Spiral, at least for now. Uh, Grun, all right. There we go. Uh, Grun it is. Uh, Elfheim Druid. Elfheim Druid is the pick. It's helping us with our kicker deck. Uh, then there's that, which is a card with kicker, but we take the Druid for now. Uh, Corrosive Ooze, Warlord's Fury, Seismic Shift, don't like any of these. Um, IRL, I would probably take the Sarah Disciple because I don't want to play against it, but like I said, these are AI drafters, so we're not going to be playing against them anyway. Uh, Corrosive Ooze is a bear. Hi, Evan! Coffee. Yeah, I'd love some coffee. Thank you. Alright. Corrosive Ooze is a bear, which is fine. I could take Warlord's Fury. It's a combat trick that cantrips. Um, Yargle. Corrosive Ooze. Not gonna play two of them, but hey. Primordial Worm, Rampaging Cyclops, Keldon Warcaller. Do we want the Primordial Worm? It's not great late game. Um, hell, it might wheel. Uh, let's go with... The Cyclops. I don't like it very much, but it's a card. Goblin Warchief. That's interesting. Uh, Radiating Lightning's the pick, though. Thank you, Evan. No Would you like to stay in here and watch this draft? Let me get my food. He's getting food. Okay, Radiating Lightning is the pick for sure, uh, because this is removal of small things. There are, like, a decent amount of X1s in the format. Uh, not as many 3-1s as there are in M19, but there are enough to make this matter. Uh, charge, get to llama, another arma, ar arma, arma, mama. Um, get to journey mage. Sure. Probably not gonna play it, but whatever. Okay, fervent strike. Plus one, plus zero oh in first strike. Uh, sure, that's fine. Nature spiral, we take the broken bond because that can hit sagas and equipment. Uh, none of these. None of these are worth having. Uh, we'll take that one, because I have enough of them to make it count toward my vault progress. Uh, Arbor Armament. Sure, that's in our colors. So is that. Kazarov, another Grun. Uh, Juggernaut. I like Juggernaut, and how's our four drop slot looking? Raging Cyclops, we're not playing that trash. Uh, our four drop slot's actually pretty full. Uh, I would run Juggernaut over Raging Cyclops, though, for what it's worth. Uh, but do we even want another copy of Grun? Grun is real good. Um, but it doesn't have evasion or anything. Uh, it is a kicker payoff, though. Can we get more of them? This is pack three, and what do we need in this deck? Two, three, four, five, six potential two drops. I'm liking this curve a lot. Um. Alright. We've got... Ramp. Damn it. Uh, we might see Grun again. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Juggernaut. Because... Ah, uh, because we have a lot of... But I don't want to run that Fire Elemental. Let's take Grun and see what happens. Alright, Whisper, Llanowar, Envoy, Kelden Raider, Rummage when it ETBs, another 4 drop though. Run amok, plus three, plus three, and trample until end of turn. That can win a game. It probably won't, though. Uh, I don't want anything in this pack. I guess I'll take the Keldon Raider because it's playable. Um, definitely more playable than the Cyclops. Wow, third pick, Knight of Grace. Not taking it, but wow. Gift of Growth is probably the pick. Yeah, we got Frenzied Rage, which Frenzied Rage is good. 
But there's so much enchantment removal in this format. People main deck it because of sagas and equipment, so we're taking Gift of Growth. Uh, Thalid Omnivore. Get to Chronicler has Kicker. Uh, <laughs> what instants and sorceries do we have? Quite a few, actually. Uh, sure, let's take it. I didn't even look at that land. It might have been something cool. Uh, Grow from the Ashes is, am is an amazing card. We're going to be taking that. Other pick is Radiant Lightning, but this. Uh, now we can afford to have a bit of a higher curve. Do we want this? Bad Genesis Wave? Top X cards, any number of land and legendary permanents for the rest of your... No, we don't. The card's bad. Uh, there's a reason they call it Bad Genesis Wave. Here, we'll take this Frenzied Rage. Card's fine. Uh, another Shivan Fire. Wow. That should not have gone this late. Um, what do you do? X damage or X the number of wizards I control. That's going to be so many. N no, it's not. But we'll take it anyway. It's in our colors and it's uncommon. Cyclops, Corrosive Ooze, Damping Sphere. Uh, we don't want any of those. Uh, I'll just take the Damping Sphere to have it. Uh, Skirk Prospector, Run Amok. Run Amok, I guess. Uh, Frenzied Rage, I guess. Don't want that. Frenzied Rage, sure. Memorial to War. Uh, that's the bad one. Okay, we don't want that one. Take another one of these. Keep trying to fill out our collection. Ooh, Radiating Lightning Wield. Fantastic. And a crab. All right, everybody, that was our fourth draft, Evan. What did you think of that? Thank you, Evan. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time when we figure out exactly what this deck wants to do and how good it's going to be, but I am optimistic that we're going to be having a fifth, uh, fifth draft in this series. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, this has been Explanation Point here on Questing Mark, signing out.